Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Jamie and in today's video I have one of my best friends Marissa featured today. She's actually going to be my makeup uh, model. Oh. There we go. <laughs> there we go. So she's going to be my makeup model for a Valentine's Day look that I'm going to do. It's going to be a Valentine's glitter look and I'm pretty excited to do it because it's really pretty. So if you'd like to see how I create this look on Marissa, then go ahead and keep on watching this video. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use the Tarte Shape Tape to prime Marissa's eyes. Primer is really good to use on your eyes because it actually makes your um, your shadow stay longer. It makes your eyeshadow stay longer. It makes it pop. Gives it that extra color, and that's what you want. So now what I'm going to do is is I'm going to set it with this Rimmel Stay Matte. If you can see it, there we go in the color Sandstorm. Because we used a concealer as a primer for your eye, you wanna set it so that it doesn't crease and all that good shit. Or all that bad shit. Because <laughs> it's no bueno. This Morphe M535 is the tits for blending. <laughs> The tits. They the tits. The tits. The tits. <laughs> For the first color we're gonna use is in the Modern Renaissance palette. And I'm gonna go ahead and use Bu on Fresco as a transition color. And just put that right into the crease. It's pretty exciting. <laughs> it is. Is it? Mm -hmm. Does Sorry if I take her face away from the camera, people. But you'll see. You'll get the general idea of what we're doing here. So now that we have her transition shade in, I am going to go into the Morphe 3502 Second Nature palette and use the color Fire, which is that beautiful bright red color that we got in there. The brush I'm going to use is the Morphe M441. All right, and then we're just gonna go ahead and put that into the crease as well. Now I'm going back into the Modern Renaissance palette and using the color Venetian Red for the outer corners. You know that's my favorite color. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm almost at the bottom of the pan on it because it's like, oh, it's so powdery. Look at all that. You're wasting all that pigment. All the, all the, yeah, that's the thing. The Anastasia ones, they've got like a lot of kickback. Do you ever spray your pan? Your I do, but I do it for the shimmers. Sorry. <laughs> that was really funny. Oh my God. All right. All right. So I'm gonna take that Venetian red and just put it into. What the fuck? <laughs> it's not that bad. It's not. It's not that bad. Right well, she better learn to grow up fast. <laughs> <laughs> you don't learn today. <laughs> you don't learn today, baby. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put that into the outer V <laughs> and a little bit into the crease just to deepen it up. Damn, that's coming out way better than I did the other day. <laughs> oh hell yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this NYX glitter primer and both these NYX gl loose glitters in rose gold and red. So it's basically gonna be like a kind of like a cut crease. 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and take the rose gold, put a little bit into the cap, and use a small shader brush. Mm -hmm. And just, <laughs> this one actually doesn't have a number. I got this one on <laughs> Amazon, you fucking jerk. <laughs> All right, close your eye. Close your eye and shut the hell up. Mm -hmm. And just very carefully pat that on to her eyelid. And I'm gonna go a little bit more than halfway with this rose gold color. And then I'm gonna go in with the red glitter. The glitter freaks my mom out. She's like, it's gonna get in your eye. I'm like, I'm fine. <laughs> I like, use glitter eyeshadow all the time. Like the yeah. loose glitter eyeshadow. Naked that's, one. That's what this is. Mm. And then I'm just gonna put the red on the rest of where I put that primer. And I'm actually going to go into the rose gold so that it kind of does like a little ombre thing and blends out into it. I am too. I'm just sitting here saying in my head, I'm excited to see what this looks like. Okay. I'm going to go back in with that Venetian red color and just kind of blend it out a little bit more. So it seems like it's even more seamless where it meets the glitter. I use a Q-tip and just clean it up. And then if you don't, you actually don't use a wing or put a, a wing. Mm -hmm. It could be a this wing. This is really going to get an eyeliner off like that too. Dude, this is like, that should be stained. This is amazing to use to take off your eye makeup with a cotton round, which is, if you don't know, one of these. They're cheap. You can get them at the Dollar Tree, Dollar Store, whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to her face. And to start with her face, we're going to go ahead and use the Benefit <clears throat> Professional. Okay, so the next thing we're going to use is her L'Oreal Infallible. Uh, total cover foundation in the color 303 and what I do whenever I do my foundation I try to stay away from the under eye area so that um, I don't have too much makeup there because mm -hmm. I'm going in with a concealer anyway okay all right so now I'm gonna go ahead and go back in with the Tarte Shape Tape for her under eyes and everywhere else that I would like to highlight on her face. <laughs> now, I'm gonna go ahead and set your face. Now for the contour, and I'm gonna go ahead and use this Wet n Wild contouring palette in the color Dulce de Leche. <laughs> and I'm gonna use this beautiful fan brush to contour. Get our nipples pierced or something. I do want to get my nipples pierced. Let's do it. Let's do I'm it. only doing one though. Face me. I want to do both. I want to do both, but I can't. I'm mm -hmm. too scared. Just have them do like once I get time. one. Though. That means two people have to do it. Yeah. Now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead and bronze. And to bronze, we're going to use this Rimmel Natural Bronze in the color what sun bronze and i'm going to use the morphe e41 brush bronze is like honestly my favorite part because it gives me my color back 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and go back in and contour your nose because I fucking forgot. Go back in with that Wet n Wild contouring palette and use this angle shader by Royal and Lang Nickel. You Never can come up with something simpler. I don't know what that is. <laughs> now that the nose is contoured, I'm going to go ahead and set the face. And what I do when I set the face, I go ahead and use the NYX setting spray, the matte finish, close your eyes. And then what I do is I take a powder puff and just damp it into the skin or blot it into the skin. Gives it that extra lock. Oh, really? Yeah. Dude, it, and it makes your, it, it actually makes it feel way it less feel, lightweight. It actually really does feel really nice. Like it does feel lighter. You don't feel so caked. Yeah. I'm like holding your head still like, <laughs> a, like it's the claw. <laughs> the claw! <laughs> and then I use the fan. If only you had your grapes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bring back memories. <laughs> Dude, that's great. That's one of the greatest stories ever. I almost died from a grape. <laughs> Got stoned one night came home, saw there was grapes, and she was like, oh shit, grapes, I'm gonna feed myself like a king. And then one just fell straight down and lodged straight into my throat, like three o'clock in the morning, everyone's sleeping. I had to do like CPR on myself. Good God. <laughs> shit so shot across the room. <laughs> best story, one of the best stories. I'll never forget, I could have died. <laughs> never ate a grape since. Oh my god. I'm actually terrified. <laughs> wait, have you eaten any grapes? No, I eat grapes. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I That's do like, get wait. nervous. I don't eat them off a of vine like that anymore, oh, though. That's shit. for sure. All right, now it's time for my favorite part, the highlights. And I actually think I'm going to use this Revolution Makeup uh, highlight in the color Peach Lights. It's only like $6 at Ulta. Totally affordable, blinding, beautiful highlight. I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Morphe M510 and just pop that bad boy right on there. And I actually like to go up top above the eyebrow because we want to be blinding, you know? I mean, I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera, but. Just pop it. Oh, oh look at that shit. Ooh. Yeah, bitch. Ooh. Down the nose. Tip of the nose. The Cupid's bow. I'm going to go ahead and do her eyebrows off camera and we'll be right back. So I finished her eyebrows and I added some of the highlight into her brow bone. Now it is time for us to do her lower lash line. And to start with the lower lash line, I am going to go ahead and use Fire in the Morphe palette, again, that bright red color. And I'm going to use this Morphe E36. And I'm just going to pop that right on her under eye. I love putting reds under my under eye. Really? I always put reds and burgundies under my eye. Now I'm going to go ahead back into the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette and go into the Venetian red. Just on the outer corner of the under eye. I'm going to take a Morphe E23 and just blend that out a little bit. Marissa got this in her Ipsy bag and it is the Ico um, Everything Goes With Black Mascara. 
and it's really weird. It comes in like this tube mm -hmm. thing. So we're gonna go ahead and just try that out. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> this is what it looks like. It actually looks pretty clean. Yeah, for real. I don't know if you guys can see it. I think what I'm supposed to do is like squeeze this so that it gets to all the bristles. You want me to like close my eyes? Like, you, no, you're doing great. Okay. Keep okay. doing whatever you're doing. Right. <laughs> so overall rating of this, what do you think? That's actually pretty good mascara. I like, I like it. it. Yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna use these three lip colors to do her lips, which you'll see how we're gonna do. We're gonna do like a little ombre thing. All right. And now we are finished. And Marissa's gonna put her glasses on and I'm gonna fix the camera so that she can see her big reveal. Yes, wow. Hold on, I just gotta see the glitter with that. Oh man, wow. That is nice. It looks like it glitter. broke up a little bit, but. Oh, I really do like the black eyeliner on the bottom too. And the highlight on my nose. <sighs> can y'all see? It's so pretty. Damn, man. And the lips look good, too. Oh, yeah. I love it. So this is the Valentine's Day look. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, like, subscribe, share, do, don't, do what you do. But I will see you in my next video.